Hello everyone, it's day 17 of Inktober and I've just received my order from the art shop skipton.co.uk. The order came to a total of £41.40. £40. I was only interested in getting some of the Pebio acrylic paints to add to my collection. I've gotten most of them from Hobbycraft during a half price sale but they don't have the full collection of colours. The art shop Skipton is the only other place I could find these at a pretty cheap price. I also noticed they had inks at a good price too. So I decided to buy a bunch of stuff until I got to the £40 mark in order to qualify for the free shipping. So I have some Inktober related stuff as well as non related stuff. So let's go in with the pens I got. First are the Uni Pin Fine Liners in 0.2mm and 0.8mm tips. I think these are the sizes I use most. They are water and fade proof. I don't really see much difference between these and the Stedler pigment liners. If I look really really close then maybe the Uni Pen has slightly blacker ink than the Stedlers. But on the other hand, Stedler's pigment liners claim you can leave the pen capless for 18 hours without it drying out. Otherwise, both brands feel like they are made from the same material and are very similar in design. Next, the other two pens I got are Derwent Graphic Fine Liners in 0.3mm. I got a grey one and a sepia colour one. I ideally wanted to get them in 0.2mm and 0.8mm, but they were out of stock and I'm not surprised because the art shop Skipton has some really competitive prices. The shape of these pens is practically identical to the Uni pin, the only differences being the cap and the bottom of the Derwent's pen is octagon shaped. The plastic on these feel a little different, it's shiny while Uni pin and Stedler have a matte finish. The Derwent graphic line maker claims to be light fast, however it doesn't indicate whether it's waterproof or not. So I've tested both the Uni pin and the graphic sepia on small strips of watercolour paper. Turns out the graphic line marker is more waterproof than the Uni pin, which is bad news for the Uni pin. I'm disappointed it's advertised as waterproof. Steadless pigment liners stands by its claim to be waterproof. The other thing I got, which isn't related to Inktober, is this Kohinoor Progresso woodless watercolor pencil in titanium white. I'm actually very disappointed in this and will be in contact with the art shop Skipton in regards to it. It's clearly advertised as watercolour but it's actually not. This is actually from the normal woodless coloured pencil set. I have the proper watercolour one which I regularly buy from Amazon. It's quite different and as you can see the one from Amazon makes a white mark when water is applied but the other one doesn't. I also bought a single soft pastel from the Kohinoor brand. I've been wanting to buy the extra soft pastels for like a year now, but I've been hesitating because a lot of the mid-range soft pastels aren't quite as soft as I expect them to be. Schmincke soft pastels are my favourites but very expensive. I've searched for singles of the Kohinoor soft pastels and extra soft in places like eBay, Amazon and Jackson's Art. But the art shop Skipton is the first place that I found which carries these pastels as singles. I'm really pleased with this and I think it's safe to say that I will be ordering the extra soft set of either 48 or 72 from Amazon soon. This is the soft pastel and the pigment seems to be good. It's not as soft as Schmincke's and I expect the Kohinoor extra soft will be softer than this. Next I got a bunch of inks, starting with Dalla Rowney's Acrylic Artist Ink in Flesh Tint. A lot of the coloured brush pen set don't have a skin tone so I intend to use this ink like a watercolour. I'm not sure if it will work the way I'm hoping, but I hope so anyway. It claims to be water resistant on most surfaces and also states it can be diluted to achieve watercolour characteristics. Then I have three Pebio inks. Two are acrylic inks from the Decocraft range in silver and gold. It says it's permanent but doesn't say it's specifically waterproof. I guess I'll find out when I come to use it. The third Pebio ink is the India ink which is waterproof once dry. Lastly I have two Windsor & Newton inks. This is the 14ml white. It's meant to be waterproof and can be diluted with water to achieve different levels of transparency. This one is the calligraphy ink in sepia. 
It's a little bit cheaper than the drawing ink range which is what the white one is. I think the main reason it's cheaper is because it's not waterproof. So there you go, that's my 40 kids spend at the art shop Skipton. I'll leave a link below if you want to pop over and see what else they've got. I'm going to go and tackle today's prompt word which is graceful. So I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye!